Our speaker this evening is Mr. Alex Epstein, who is the founder and director of the Center for Industrial Progress, and he is an increasingly prominent commentator on energy and industrial policy. Epstein specializes in the underlying ph philosophical ideas that shape the energy debate. Um, his writings are frequently published in prominent publications such as the Wall Street Jour Journal and Forbes. He is a principal blogger for Master Resource, the Internet's leading free market uh, energy blog. Mr. Epstein has spoken about energy issues at dozens of universities, including Duke, Berkeley, UCA, UCLA, and most recently Baylor University and the University of Texas at Austin. Um, and also to a diverse range of organizations at these campuses, uh, anywhere from the Federalist Society to the NAACP. Mr. Epstein is an alumnus of Duke University, where he studied philosophy and, com and computer science. His unique background in political, practical philosophy, combined with his years of energy research, so research enables him to provide a rare source of the big picture insight and clarity in today's energy debate. If you all would help me welcome Mr. Alex Epstein. Thanks. So if I say howdy ags, do I get credibility or do I just look like a complete phony? Oh, great. <laughs> really? I'm going to. I would guess, I would guess phony. So, uh. All right, let's take a little bit of a, a poll just to see the kind of uh, range of viewpoints we have here. I'm going to give you three options. Pretty easy question. When you hear the words green energy, how do you feel? And you get, you get three options. One is essentially positive, one is essentially negative, and one is essentially conflicted. All right, essentially positive, essentially negative, essentially conflicted. All right, who's got essentially positive? You guys got to be kidding me. Uh, all right, well, you are not exactly representative of the American uh, population. So I'll assume that a lot of people watching, fortunately, were, uh, were you streaming this. So hopefully a lot of people online will have some essentially positive. I would say that's at least a third of the population. All right, uh, essentially negative. OK, essentially conflicted. All right, that is, that is very interesting. Well, that leads me to my next question, which I think is a harder question. Um, which is who here feels comfortable explaining to me what green energy is? Okay, we got one. I'll call in you a second. Two. So this is, I'll, I'll hear your explanations in a second, but this is interesting because this is a huge issue. I mean, would anyone debate that this is not a big issue? I mean, we talk about a green energy economy. We need to transition from allegedly a dirty energy economy to a green energy economy. And yet it's really hard to get a handle on even what green energy is and what it would mean to do that. And yet we're t people say, you know, we need to change our way of life. We need to change the way we use energy. So it's, it's suspicious that it's not even clear what that, what that means. So we had, we had two, at least two people who thought they could tell me what green energy was. So who wants to take a shot first? Go for it. It's sort of hard to pin down because every single uh, interest group has their own uh, sort of definition of it to best support their goals. I mean, you've got the raging environmentalists that basically base green energy around what, uh, what best uh, suits the specific animal or ecosystem that it's going to be based in. Like, for example, like um, out in the ocean, maybe those boy, boy things or whatever that they want, but as long as they don't conflict with migration patterns of seagulls or whales, mm -hmm. they're fine with it. But I mean, and then you've got the clean energy groups where their definition is um, basically anything that isn't coming out of the ground, which that includes natural gas, oil, um, coal, mm -hmm. and basically they measure their clean energy in emissions uh, per metric ton or something like that. So their definition of clean energy is basically something that's very, very renewable, but doesn't also damage the environment. So there's like a sort of running trend where the environment sort of has to come Okay, so you at least you've gotten at least three categories there because one is, you know, not disrupting various migration patterns. Another was not coming out of the ground, which is interesting. We'll get get back to that later. And then at least one more was not emitting uh, CO two, and those don't always cross over. And we had one more gentleman who wanted to give us an account of green energy. I was just going to say that in colloquial usage, green energy generally refers to um, energy. 
energy that doesn't produce harmful emissions that varies depending on who's talking and uh, exactly what sorts of energy they're talking about. But in general, the idea is they want something that doesn't release any sort of greenhouse gases, mm -hmm. specifically carbon is what they're generally referring to. Um, and they generally don't want anything that could release like sulfur dioxide. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So different particles that can come from coal. Okay. So we have a lot of, a lot of different things, and they sort of contradict. So sometimes we'll hear where well, green energy means no CO2, and yet the green energy movement is against nuclear and hydro, which are the two leading sources of CO2. And I mentioned hydro. Uh, someone mentioned the issue of renewable or doesn't come from the ground. Uh, the biggest opponents, interestingly enough. Wait. That's not. Excuse me. That's not correct. Uh, okay. CO2 free energy. Okay, I'm going to ask you guys to raise your hand uh, before you talk. Um, okay, so let's just be clear in terms of uh, in terms of what produces the greatest percentage, just so we can get factual clarification, of non-CO2 emitting energy. The two leading sources around the world are hydroelectric power and nuclear power. And what I was saying about those is both of those are are opposed by large groups of green energy advocates, which is interesting. Um, so. It's not exactly clear what green energy means, and yet we're supposed to. Uh, actually, there's going to be a question period after the talk, so if you can just write down your question, and then we'll get to it uh, later. Okay, so it's not exactly clear what green energy is, and this.